previously on Mort's Miniatures Vlog. Mort? It is the end. But the moment has been prepared for. More? Oh, 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 weird. Oh, new teeth. Oh, I'm a lot taller than I used to be. And now the continuation. Hello, I'm Moore, and welcome to another vlog. No, 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 we've written ourselves into a corner here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Moore, I didn't really regenerate, that was just a shockingly cheap special effect. So, yeah, this video is just basically going to be a sort of catch-up of all the uh, few things I've managed to get done over the last couple of months while I've been incredibly busy with work and not able to do that much miniature stuff. Probably the most noticeable thing I've done, so far as my videos go, is I've gone and got myself a rotating display stand. You may have seen this briefly in my last video, uh, with a Dalek rotating on it. Stand. Rotate. Exterminate. I actually filmed a lot more of the miniatures from that video on the rotating platform, but due to the fact my camera does not like focusing on black surfaces for some reason, uh, most of the footage was unusable apart from uh, some clips of the Dalek, which is what I ended up using. Stand. Rotate. Exterminate. So, what I did, as you can see, is I took some of this textured wallpaper I'm always using, stuck it to the top of the rotating display stand, and painted it up like stone. So yeah, this came off eBay, didn't cost me too much, um, I think around about a tenner actually. Got compartments of various batteries on the underneath here, but um, I found best to power it from its little USB port thing here. Little light lights up, it's got uh, RL here, which selects whether it rotates left or right. SR, which is uh, speed of rotation. It's got two or three speeds. And ASA, which uh, I believe stands for Arsing Stupidly Around. But enough talking about this thing, let's get on to talking about some miniatures. So, this is Female Human Fighter number one, made by Miniature Heroes. And I've painted her up as a paladin for Mandy's Christmas present. This is very much a sculpt in the old school style, and uh, I'm rather fond of it for that. Yeah, quite pleased how this one came out. Uh, as you can see, it did a bit of uh, goldy, bronzy type metallics for the armor there. Chainmail still in standard chainmail colors. Her cloak and um, various other bits of cloth I did in a nice sort of burgundy kind of color to match the rose on her shield. The face is not the best part of this sculpt. The shield is, clearly. But uh, with you know, a little bit of work with the paint, I think I managed to make it look quite good. And overall, I think it came out rather nicely. Yeah, overall, quite pleased with this miniature, and uh, let's hope Mandy likes it. This is my classic metal Vermin Lord, which I'll be using in my games as the Demon General Presnagar. Uh, a little bit of conversion work done for this model. I actually got him second-hand as part of a job lot of rather battered-looking scale miniatures, and he was, in fact, missing his left arm and his tail. So I replaced them with the equivalent parts from a plastic rat ogre. 
I couldn't find a pointing hand like the original one, so I opted for this open claw and put a big chunk of warp stone in it. And that, I think, actually makes a quite an interesting pose for this miniature. Yeah, that arm looks really cool holding up the big chunk of warp stone there. I like to think he's uh, sort of holding that and uh, summoning for the huge swarm of rats. And the tail is quite a bit different from the original, but um, it still looks good. It still looks good. There's all sorts of nice details in this miniature. I particularly like all the torques and bracelets and uh, the little bells that hang off it. The base is a resin one made by a company that I do not remember the name of. Uh, all I do remember is I bought it in a hobby shop while I was in the Netherlands. It's got some nice KLC details on there, chains, spikes and so on. And I added a little plastic rat here. Overall, I'm really pleased with how this came out. Very nice to paint. The glow of the warp stone, I think, came out particularly good on this model. I'm also rather pleased with the face, particularly that I managed to get the bone of the skull to look different from the horns. A lot of nice contrast in there. Here's Flecky off a scale. As you can see, it's a nice, large, intimidating miniature, certainly worthy of the title Demon General. Yes, this miniature will make a fine end boss for the Shattered Amulet campaign. And in keeping with the Skaven theme, here's some rat swarms I painted up recently as well. This one is from the Castle Ravenloft board game. Um, not really much to say about these. And these two are uh, old Warhammer pieces. Uh, paint up quite nicely. Simple colour schemes, you know, rat colours. And here's something else I finished recently. It's a uh, earth elemental type rock monster with these uh, big crystals as its arms. This is a Skylanders figure that I've uh, attached to a new base and repainted. Not that much to say about it really. Um, came out quite nice. A little bit of uh, green stuff work here and there to fill the gaps. The rather extravagant um, scenic base this thing's on uh, is actually part of the original figure and um, all I really did to rebase it was to uh, stick on a uh, plastic base and then sort of fill the gaps with um, some filler and a few little stones just to sort of match the same texture and I've uh, used some uh, milliput to uh, sculpt some little teeth in there but uh, otherwise pretty much unremarkable but it looks nice it looks nice yeah quite pleased with this it was fairly easy to paint and um, did all my usual techniques for uh, rock and crystal and things went for a kind of uh, damp mossy cave look for the uh, painting of the stone here so used um, quite a bit of green on this one more than I might normally have used on the filamental don't know why but after I put the varnish on the uh, blue of this ended up with a slight purple tint to it not sure what's going on there but uh, that looks alright, it's not quite as I planned, but um, still looks very crystally and nice, so that's good. Not quite sure what I'm going to use it for, but um, yeah, it should be an interesting thing. I imagine it might uh, shoot lightning out of these uh, big old crystals it's got for its arms here, like it you know, builds up uh, energy inside the crystals and then um, expels it as lightning. Could be uh, quite an interesting monster, maybe for a uh, cave setting. The uh, crystals, of course, um, scream cave as well, uh, in much the way that crystals do, I guess. It's like off the scale. And here's a nice large throne, which I'll probably be using for ogres and similar creatures. It's actually a Mega Bloks piece. I removed the original skull decoration on the top and replaced it with what I think is the top of a Beastman banner pole. And I think it painted up rather nicely. Uh, nothing much to really say about it, but uh, yeah, it's a nice piece and it should prove very useful in future games. Especially if I run something based on, say, Against the Ogre Horde.
And here for scale once again is Flekyar. And here's not one but two of these large bovine type creatures. As you might have seen in the previous video, these are in fact toys from the pound shop that I've uh, based and painted up. I'll be pretty much just using the oxen in my games, pulling carts, stuff like that. Quite simple paint jobs on these, a little bit rough, but they came out okay. Although they are kind of inexplicably glossy, even though I added a coat of uh, Mod Podge Matty Matt Mate to them to try and sort of dull them down a bit, they're still shiny. To be honest, I never really seem to have much luck with matte varnish. It always just comes out like slightly gloss and I'm never sure why. Here's one pulling a cart. And there's like half a scale. And this is a nice little workbench piece from one of WizKids ranges. I don't remember exactly which one. I bought this set mostly for this nice little toolkit which rather reminds me of the one from HeroQuest. It also came with a few other accessories like uh, candles and a scales and I think some bowls and things but I haven't got around to painting those yet. Talking of HeroQuest, here's Flecky off a scale. Couple of miscellaneous little bits of dungeon dressing now. Uh, this is a pile of coins and two magic circles. These are basically just made from these little discs of laser cut wood I got. Um, put some of my usual textured wallpaper over and painted on the magic circle designs. This one I tried to make look like it's uh, done in chalk and I've borrowed various runes from Quake to make it look nice and arcane. And with this one I've gone for a more sort of glowing blue rune effect. The coins are just uh, little bits of cardboard punched out with a small hole punch and then PVA glued down to the... well I guess it's a base isn't it? And here's like the other scale. Look mate, it's a pile of coins surrounded by a circle of glowing runes. I'm assuming it's some kind of trap. Finally, it's a storage shed, or a boat shed, depending on how close I put it to water, I guess. This is made from various materials, including a uh, foam board, and cardboard, and lots and lots of those coffee stirring sticks I use in my builds. The chimney there is made from a bit of felt tip pen. Uh, an old weird shaped shield and uh, some miscellaneous sticks of plastic I had. The walls are made of foam board with uh, one layer of the sort of surrounding card pulled away. I used a biro to carve the stonework into places and um, left the rest plain to give it this sort of chipped plaster effect which I'm rather pleased with. The uh, Joints at the corners don't look that great, but um, if I do one again, I'll use filler or something to sort of smooth that over, make the whole thing look better. Uh, yeah, overall, quite pleased with these, and I'll probably do some more buildings like this in the near future. Probably something a bit larger. And here's Lekyar for scale. And that's about it for this vlog. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you're subscribed to my channel, like this video. Until next time, I need a goodbye catchphrase. Kapla! I am the Warmorton. Tremble, mortals. <laughs>